Greetings, everyone. Hi, I'm Anne, and I'm here today with a special guest. This is Carly. She's my future sister-in-law, and I wanted just to ask her a couple of questions, and I thought that maybe it can help you guys out there, all the brides-to-be. So, um, Carly, are you ready? I'm ready. She's ready, so here we go. Um, it's great to book an appointment in advance. I went for, I think I booked probably three or four different appointments. I wanted uh, to try out a bunch of different places to try on different wedding dresses. So I called well in advance, and what I found was that Saturday and Sunday appointments booked up very quickly because that's definitely the busiest day. Um, so if you can go on a you know a weekday, that would be the best. Um, but definitely make an appointment because I saw some people showing up uh, the day of and they were kind of turned away because they're just so busy on those days. Well, to your first appointment, I think you really need to bring a strapless bra and wear some underwear you're comfortable in because everyone's going to be looking at you in them. Um, when you go into the fitting room, you'll be stripped down, and so if you're you're going to be in front of a stranger, so be in some underwear, you're okay with that. I notice that the sizes run a little small, like I might typically wear a four, but I fit much better in a six, possibly even an eight, so you definitely need to go up in a size and be prepared for that. I imagine wearing my hair up on my wedding day, but when I went to try on dresses, I had it down, and so I had to keep pulling it back, and fortunately I had a hair tie with me, so I ended up pulling my hair up into a ponytail, because um, that really showed me a little bit more of what it would look like. I went to some of the websites of the places I was going to go to, and in just all around I looked at bridal magazines, and so I cut pictures out, and whenever I went to a, met with a consultant, I showed him my book of all the wedding dresses I had and pointed out elements that I liked and kind of what I was looking for. You know, some of the dresses I tried on were not quite what I had thought I would like, but a lot of them were. So there were a few that I thought, oh, it's so beautiful, and then I put it on, and it looked absolutely awful. Uh, and it didn't take too many dresses before I figured out what I really was looking for. And the consultants would bring me dresses that I thought, no way, I'm not going to like that at all. And then I put it on, it's like, oh, okay, you're right, that one does look pretty nice. So I had to go in with an open mind. Um, I was really overwhelmed and had trouble remembering what I liked about certain ones, which ones I liked the most. And actually I found that... Um, the next day I would sit and sift through the pictures and, and it was funny, one dress that I thought I really liked, um, I turned out not to like it quite as much as this other one that I, I thought was like my second choice, so I kind of switched. Um, so those pictures were so important to help me kind of imagine that and really see what I looked like. It's, I had the people that were kind of most important to me and people that were really supportive. Um, you don't want a bunch of negative people there and so now, I certainly didn't want people that were going to say yes to everything either. So they were honest with me in helping me make my decision. But they're, you know, I had like my mom and my sister and my future sister-in-law. Um, they came along with me. So it would be nice to have maybe two, three people with you, Max. Um, just someone who can help you kind of imagine that day and what you want to, what you really want to look like. It was a very tough decision. I liked so many dresses. I liked a certain element of this dress and a certain element of this dress. And I really had a, lot, a very tough time deciding. And nothing I found was the perfect dress. So I decided. All in all, you should just relax, have a very open mind, and plan it as a fun, stress-free day to just kind of share this moment with your whoever you bring, your friends, your family, people that are important to you. Good luck! All right, everybody. I hope you guys learned a lot from Carly and um, that you enjoyed all the questions and answers. So if there's any questions that you may have, um, feel free to email me or um, leave at the link below, and we'll answer your questions. But I just want to say thank you for coming by and for visiting. And before you guys leave, I just wanted to leave a, a message with Carly 
that we are really excited. Um, so on behalf of my family and uh, my brother and everybody, we just can't wait till you officially join the family. And we're just so excited because we know you're so genuine and you have such a kind heart. And um, we love you. So I just Thank want to share. you. You're so sweet. We can't wait. You're so sweet. So. Welcome, Carly, to the family. And just continue to join us on our adventure. And we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye. bye. If you would like to view the DIY bridal projects, please click on one of the glitter buttons.